Hi guys, German Prepper here. I have for you today a telling statement by Jens Stoltenberg, NATO Secretary General at a joint press conference with the Prime Minister of Romania, Nicolae Chua. Here we go, guys. Prime Minister Chua, dear Nicolae, it is great to see you again. Welcome to NATO headquarters. You know these headquarters. You know NATO very well. But it is always a pleasure to meet you and to discuss and to address the security challenges we face together in our alliance. Romania is a highly valued ally. And I greatly appreciate the important contributions you make to our shared security at this pivotal time. You host one of NATO's new battle groups in the Black Sea region. You lead by example on defence spending. And Romania hosts a key site for NATO's ballistic missile defence. I also welcome your diplomatic leadership to strengthen NATO, including by hosting a meeting of NATO foreign ministers in Bucharest next month. Today, we address Russia's brutal war of aggression against Ukraine. President Putin is failing on the battlefield. He is responding with more indiscriminate attacks on Ukrainian cities and against civilians and critical infrastructure, and with dangerous nuclear rhetoric. We have also seen Russia accuse Ukraine of preparing to use a radiological dirty bomb. This is absurd. Allies reject this blatantly false accusation, and Russia must not use false pretexts to escalate the war further. NATO will not be intimidated or deterred from supporting Ukraine's right to self-defence, for as long as it takes. Every week, Ukraine's forces are getting stronger and better equipped. At the same time, we continue to strengthen our own defences. We are reinforcing NATO's presence from the Black Sea to the Baltic Sea. Fighter jets from Canada help to keep your skies safe. And thousands of French, Dutch, Belgian and US troops are in Romania to deter aggression. These deployments send a clear message. NATO is ready to defend Romania and all other allies. Today we address the situation in the Black Sea region, which is of vital strategic importance to NATO. Three allies are littoral states as are our close partners Ukraine and Georgia. Russia's war has turned parts of the Black Sea into a war zone. Missiles fired by Russian warships in the Black Sea have hit Ukrainian towns, and for months Russian forces blocked Ukrainian ports, causing the worst global food crisis in years. We urge Russia to renew the UN grain deal brokered by Turkai and ensure the continued supply of food to those who need it most. So, Prime Minister... Thank you again for Romania's many contributions to NATO. I look forward to being in Bucharest in just a few weeks' time. There we are, guys. Another interesting, if biased, public statement by NATO. A question for you all now to end. Do you believe thousands of French, Dutch, Belgian and US troops are in Romania to deter aggression? Or are they there as a potential strike force to occupy Moldova or eastern Ukraine in case of potential Russian Federation advances? As always, looking forward to reading your answers. Keep prepping, guys. Cheers for now.